When you right-click on your document, the pop-up palette shows up. The pop-up palette is the digital version of a painter's palette. It will be one of your best allies when you are painting in Krita. Let us break down its components. First of all, if you look in the top left corner, you will find two color swatches. These are your foreground and background colors. In digital painting applications, you generally have two colors that you can store and switch between. They are represented right there. Then the outer ring features a quick access buttons to a variety of brush presets. Clicking on any of the icons will set your brush to the corresponding preset. In the middle of the palette, you have a color picker. You have a hue ring on the outer side of it and a triangle in the middle that controls the value and the saturation of your colors. And in between the color picker and the brush presets, you have a color history. Every time you paint with a new color on your document, it gets added to the history. You then only have to click on one of those colors to set your current color to it. Lastly, there is a little icon in the bottom right of the palette. This one opens up a menu that allows you to select a tag. Tags are categories to which your brush presets are assigned. By default, the pop-up palette will show the brushes assigned to the favorite presets tag. However, you can set it to show other types of brushes by using this little menu. Let's now talk about picking colors and working with the foreground and background color swatches. Using the color picker on the pop-up palette, you have to click and drag on the hue ring to set the hue and click and drag in the middle triangle to set the saturation and value of your foreground color. The advanced color selector, the darker that's shown to the right of the canvas, works the exact same way. Now, if you want to swap your foreground and background colors, you have to press the X key. When you paint with the freehand brush tool, you always paint with the foreground color. And by pressing the X key, you can swap it with your background color that's being stored basically and paint with it. To reset the foreground and background colors to black and white respectively, you have to press the D key. Those two shortcuts are used in many digital painting applications. Let me drop in a quick extra tip. On the advanced color selector docker, on the top left corner, you have a small menu icon. Click on it to access the advanced color selector settings. Then you will see an icon that represents your color selector. If you click on it, Krita will offer you a few options of alternative color pickers. I personally use the second one with the square in the middle. The reason is that it's a bit more precise than the default color picker. It clearly maps the values to the vertical axis on the square and the saturation of the colors to the horizontal axis. Let's bounce back to the pop-up palette. By default, it shows brush presets assigned to the favorite preset tag. What if you want to add or remove presets there? Let's first talk about adding presets. You select a brush preset in the brush preset picker and you like it. To add it to the pop-up palette, we need to assign it a tag. So open the brush preset picker, left click on the preset you selected, right click, select the assign to tag options and choose the favorite presets tag. When you open the pop-up palette, you will see the icon of your newly added brush. And now, what if we want to remove brushes from the favorite presets tag? You still do that in the brush preset picker. Click on the drop down at the top of the panel and choose favorite presets. Right click on a preset and choose remove from this tag. You can check on the pop-up palette, the brush will have disappeared. Take the time to experiment with brush presets and whenever you find one that you like, add it to your favorites. In the next video, we will take a first look at layers.